This one is underway. Toe has met leather. And it will be Riley running up on a short kick at around the eight yard line. Gets a couple of good blocks, and Riley, you can see, is shifty and fast, and he gets out to the 33 yard line. Start a game with a delay pin. Tailback, Bo Neal checks out of the backfield, so an empty set here for Dungey on first down. He is going to have to scramble against that big front. He's got some room to run, though. Dungey will have a first down, and he'll get outside the 40 to the 44-yard line. Here goes the Syracuse speed. Neal stays in. He'll get the carry, and he'll pop through into the second level, and he'll have a first down following an 11-yard pickup. His feet tonight to stay away from that rush. He's had to scramble twice. He's going to be chased outside again. He's going to tuck and he's going to run. And he's going to get the first down. Tanner Muse, number 19, came over. Could not get there in time. Dungey's got speed. And it's going to be a first down for the Orange. Cook stays in. He's had coming up to 300 touches without ever putting the ball on the ground. Screen pass here. He'll get one. And he stays alive. And he's got room to the 10. One man to beat. He'll do it. Touchdown, Syracuse. Fake to him, quick throw, Renfro, he's open, and he's got a first down. Renfro, and it's, it's a catch on second down. Now the handoff to Feaster, and he gets through. Feaster, easy trip to the end zone, 7-6 the score. Two yards. This is power football, knock him out, I could run through that whole day. I couldn't have the speed. Two and two tries so far. Pressure on Dungey. They're going to stop him here. Austin Bryant, number seven. O'Daniel, number six. Just too many white and orange jerseys. Clemson brought when they caught him in the screen. 23rd sack by this defense to bring the safety from the field. Rolling left. Bryant, wide open. Renfro sliding. Catch first down. 42-yard line. Bryant has a pocket, throws, caught, that's Richard again. That's going to be a first down at around the 20, maybe even inside the 20-yard line. Two 255-pound tight end, who is a mismatch with the linebackers inside. 64 yards. Throw out here, looking to Ray Ray McLeod. Ray Ray did not get to drop the ball and recovered very quickly. With his hand by Jordan Martin. Pressure on Bryant. He will elude it and get the pass off. It won't be anywhere near a first down. It's from 35. Ooh, that looked ugly. It is an interesting thing to keep an eye on. Dante Strickland in a tailback. Dungey will fire into traffic. Catch out to the 34-yard line. First down. Bank to Strickland. Hop over there. Wide open. This is Urban Phillips, and nobody's going to catch him. It's an easy touchdown for Syracuse. Dabo Sweeney and Brent Venables wanted. So you can see it's a drop back pass. They've got good protection. He slides right inside, and there's no high safety. So it is just a bust and an easy touchdown throw. But you, when you go on the road as a head coach, don't let the opposing team get excited, especially when you're a huge favorite. They're going to drive him deep, 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 or not even a guy that, oh, yes, he is going to take it out. Etienne saw a hole up the middle, and he'll get outside all the way to the 28, 29-yard line. Bryant. A little bit of a high throw. Kane with a catch right at the mark. Power football. Following the tight end, ETN goes into the pile, and he will actually lose about a half a yard. Being big Chris Elmore yet, number 36 for the Orange. Dungey's going to take off, and O'Daniel just grabbed him right up. Dorian O'Daniel, number six. That's a loss back to the four-yard line. It'll be second to 13. Justin Dorian was a great running back in high school, and it shows you the athletic ability of this Clemson defense. And the Syracuse offense has been dominant. Dungey trying to get away from that rush, and they're going to get him. 
to be another sack, two-yard loss. Ball, he's got to get rid of the ball quickly, and they've got a chip in the back. He's under a lot of pressure there, and Strickland with a beautiful tackle by Mark Fields is brought down for a loss. Bryant. Oh, what a great catch that time by Rodgers. He is a freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee. Hill. But they'll hand it off instead to Rodgers, and he is brought down for a significant loss by Rodney Williams. They're going to penetrate on first down with their defensive front linebackers. Bryant in trouble. He's going to have to run. And he'll be brought down short. No game four. Chris Slate, number 95, on the stop. Quarterback draws. I don't know that I'd be running him too much, but they've got to get off the goal line. Oh, he's got a wide open receiver here. That is Pierce, the tight end. Take the screen to the left side and get the wheel. Fake to Strickland. One on one. And it's going to be caught there by number 17, Jamal Custis, who has not played the last four games. Is in. He'll be the lead blocker, and they go deep for Custis, and it's broken up. O'Neal, tailback, now he goes to the near side. They quickly throw down the middle, and that should be a first down. Catch made by Phillips. The 25th play coming up for the Tigers. Dungey. Flags are down. There was a collision around the 25-yard line involving Ishmael. And sitting instead of having the penalty. Dungey on the throw. Oh my. Swallowed up. Goodness. Yeah, they were tired of it, so they brought the safe sack here. Mike Black, our kicking expert at Spotter, says need about 10 more yards to get into field goal range. And they're going to be a little short. Now the ball's out. Picked up by Tanner Muse. Muse has a clear path to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. No flags. Now, is it going to be considered a fumble after the replay review? Oh, that's a fumble. There's absolutely no question about it. That's going to count. Tanner Muse was hit with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So the second time we've had a touchdown followed by an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the person who scored. The fumble forced by Isaiah Simmons. Sean Riley can do some damage here as he goes wide. And a good run back for Riley. He'll get to close to the 40-yard line and does get to the 40-yard line. He could see a fourth down uh, conversion track. A lot of pressure coming from the Tigers. Dungey on the run, and it's caught along the far sideline by Phillips at the Clemson 49. Carter in coverage, first down, Orange. See if we can get through this one cleanly. We do. A lot of pressure from the Tigers. Dungy gets hit. And coming back to make the catch. Beautifully done is Ismail. The lead into halftime. Dungy's going to go under center here. To run the option. He'll get it easily. To the 35 and a first down. Caught. Down to the five-yard line. The catch made by Pierce, the tight end. Got a mismatch to the boundary. You've got the tight end tight, fake, option, sprint. It'll be Mahoney, and he will get stormed under at the four-yard line. Number 99, once again, Cleveland Farrell. That's the plan. Empty set backfield here for Bryant. Two-step drop. This one's in rhythm, and it's caught by the tight end, Milan Richard, and he'll get a first down to the 37-yard. Ryan's got a little time here. You can see him sort of limp running, and he'll throw this away. To screw up the defensive alignment. Dungy. Can he get away with that bad shin? On the run, missed incomplete. And the Tigers' defense holds. Ishmael was the intended receiver. Punted it so high. They've had good coverage. It's worked so far. High with a wobble. Another fair catch. And a crowd. 
and a flag comes in. It's the bad ankle. Bryant. Hurled to the ground by Chris Slayton. It's fourth down. It's hard for him to scramble. He's such an effective scrambler. He turns straight up the field. On the run. In trouble now. Ad Libbing to McLeod and his too high. Flag is down at the 48-yard line. They bring a blitz. They throw in the direction of the blitz, and it's batted down. Fourth down and four coming up. Not to stop them on this end of the field with, if you're Clemson. And they cannot. First down for Syracuse. They bring some pressure. And another big miscommunication with Phillips and Dungey. That was 10 yards over his head. Royce's his tail back. On second down, it's Choice. And he'll fight to the 30, and that'll be a first down. Paris Bennett on the stop. Fake the jet sweep to McLeod. Cooper in a little bit of trouble. Has some room if he wants to take off left. Throws to Renfro. That is a sick catch. Quite a catch. I'm like you, Dave. I'm wanting to yell at the young quarterback. Run! You've got all kinds of green space. But that's an unbelievable catch. Gets his hands up under it. Be smart here. Keep the right to kick. Cooper. McLeod to the 13. And McLeod. 30-yarder. They get it off in time. And that one is good. Yard field goal. Dungy looking. Receivers are covered. He'll take off. And he's got some room here. Dungey down the sideline. Breaks free into Clemson territory and is brought down at around the 37-yard line and a touchdown saving tackle. The quarterback's feet are invaluable in college football. Nobody accounts for him. There's no spy on him. I'd say defense, shut him down. Syracuse moving the ball again. Now a fake. One-on-one. -on -one. Into the end zone. Touchdown! Syracuse Ishmael! When you're in coaching, it's all about matchups. They took their best receiver, leading receiver in the country, and they locked him up with a safety. And he beats him deep for the score. And first down play. ETN is the tailback, number nine. Quick throw, catch, Kane. Trying to make a spin move. He'll get the first down. It's going to be brought down at the 48-yard line. Cooper, six out of eight for 49 yards. Hands off to ETN. ETN, look out for the speed. Clemson's a point away from tying it up. Goes from 0 to 60 here, Mac. They cleaned him out. Pull both guard, backside tackle. Turned up on the power play. A lot of movement again by Syracuse. Dungey with a little bit of time here and can't find an open receiver. And he does the right thing. Get it all with Ishmael or Phillips. They're two great receivers. Dungey, that's exactly the call. There's a bit of a push-off, but no call. No, there comes the flag now. That is Ishmael, who pushed off on fields, and the question is, are they going to call him for it? It's called. Well, don't turn it over. Wouldn't be surprised if we get one. Dungey Clemson came in him. trouble, and he's sacked inside the five. Coach Venerables talked to him at halftime. Does he stirred him up? Came with a blitz from the boundary. Oh, Zarek Cooper took over at the start of this quarter. On the run, he throws, coming back, Renfro with another crazy catch at the 30-yard line. What hands. Jonathan Thomas in coverage, it's a gain of 11. Cooper will keep it, spin, and fight for the first down. Cooper down a dozen, under a minute to go in the quarter. Keep the right to kick, no turnovers. To the end zone, way too high. Renfro was around the five-yard line. Snaps have been a little high tonight. That one looks pretty good. The kick, however, is not. Waiting seconds of this third quarter. And that will be the tight end. Ravion Pierce, the junior out of Plantation, Florida, gets a first down. And one going away. 
This is a much different environment, and Kelly Bryant wasn't injured. On third and short, Dungy with the keeper and a first down. Clemson. So it's got to be wearing on that Clemson defense. Pressure here. A lot of pressure coming on Dungy. He throws. Ismail, big flag coming up here. Ismail locked up with Trayvon Mullen. So the real deal. Yep. Look, Tigers told us that yesterday. Dungy. And there's Phillips. That's a first down, 30-yard line. And, uh, fourth down and 10 long field goal to third and two. Strickland. This is going to be close. If they don't get it, there's a high percentage that they will go for it. Absolutely. Play of the game. Strickland. He'll power his way to the first down with a push from the quarterback. Good decision on fourth down. Clemson coming again. Same blitz from the boundary. Wide open at the top of your screen. And Phillips will get, excuse me, Butler will get cut down short of the first down. Not much pressure. No trouble that time for Cole Murphy, the senior from California. Make the choice. Quick throw. Kane, the catch. He stood up immediately. Ridden out of bounds. But it'll be a first down for the Tigers. Tunnel screen. Renfro taken off. Renfro's got some speed. And he will get into Hughes territory at the 45-yard line. In trouble. Gets away. Has some room. Oh, no. Tripped up. What a play by Slate. It looked like Cooper had some room to at least get back to the line of scrimmage, and Slate dumps it for a four-yard loss. Flip for 315 pounds after playing all night. Too high. Not even close. And he puts their punt team out there. And Spires going to throw it down deep, and it's incomplete. They did go for the fake, and it failed. They go quickly this time, and it will be, it should be a first down, and is. But until Clemson can stop him. Dungy looks like he wanted to pitch back. Now he's in trouble, and now he is down. Sacked again. Once again, it's 99. And also 42, Christian Wilkins is the tailback. Dungy under pressure. The throw caught. Sticks. First down. Steve Ishmael. The ESPN 3 and the ESPN app. We'll have post-game coverage of this game as Dungy takes off trying to get the first down. And he stretches for the chains. 